welcome to another in the spotlight review from Eagle Creek Railroad. In this video we're going to be taking a look at what is my very first Atlas locomotive and that is a GP39-2 in phase 2 paint scheme. The road number is 1202 and it is part of the Masterline series. Um, the gold series is the sound fitted version. I believe they do a silver and a gold. Um, this is all a bit new to me, like I say, it's my first Atlas Loco, so I apologise if uh, anything I say isn't quite right. But as you can see, it's ESU sound fitted, part of the Masterline locomotives that Atlas produce. Um, having done a little bit of research, they do quite a lot of different sort of levels of locomotives in HO and N. Um, I read some really good reviews. I really wanted a, a Jeep. Um, I scoured the internet. As we all know, I love my Kato stuff, but... I couldn't find any Jeeps, um, or any recently produced Jeeps from Kato. I'd look at Arthur and a couple of others, and I just couldn't find anything that, um, yeah, that tickled my fancy. So um, I settled on an Atlas. Like I say, I read some good reviews. I read some not so good reviews, but I'm really hoping, as it's my first one, um, I'm really hoping that the good reviews hold true. So without further ado, we'll uh, we'll dive straight in. As you can see, the packaging is very very similar to. Uh, other end scale locomotive manufacturers, solid plastic, jewelry box type case. Oh, I notice this one does have clips. So there it is inside the packaging. Again, it's very, very similar to uh, the other manufacturers with the foam insert. It's nice to see they've got some foam pad in there for the handrails. That's really, really good. Um, first impressions on the detail from what I can see out of the box. Actually, very good. Um, yeah, looks really, really good. So what we'll do now, we'll just take it out. Oh wow, there's a load of paperwork in the back as well. So I'll set that down for a minute. And what we'll do now, we'll just have a quick flick through the paperwork. Okay, this is uh, this is really nice to see to be fair. Um, that's perhaps one thing that does let Cato down slightly in my eyes is the lack of any paperwork uh, in the box. But as you can see with this one, you've got a fully exploded diagram there for every spare part you could possibly want, each with its own part number, which I think is really good. Um, it's really nice to see. I know a lot of these are available online, but I'd really like to see them in the box. I think that's really good. It's a really nice touch, especially with every part number as well. So any spares you need, really easy to order. So yeah, I'm impressed with that. Let's have a look at this one first. This is just regarding the warranty. Uh, nothing too exciting on there, but again, really nice to see. And what really does please me is that they've included a function sheet for the decoder. There's some decent instructions on there telling you how to start it up and what to do with it out of the box, how to reset the decoder. And also, you get a function list. And that is really, really good. Again, it's something that Kato don't do. Um, you have to sort of dig around online to find a list of the functions, but having this in the box with a list of the common CVs that you need to change, I think that's really, really good. I'm really impressed with that. That's a nice little touch. That's really cool. Okay, let's uh, dig in and have a proper look. As you can see, I've removed it from all the packaging. Everything looks really crisply done. The livery. The detail, the trucks are really good. So I'm really struggling to get this camera on my phone to behave. Um, I've tried changing a few settings, but it keeps sort of drifting out of focus and I'm not really sure why. But yeah, truck detailing is pretty good. You can see the rear there. Molded steps and grab irons. These are all separately applied to handrails. All the vent detail. The roof is a little sparse. I mean, you've got the cooler group fans and everything. The exhaust stack is a little bit lacking in detail. The horns are a separately fitted part. See the front there with the UP shield, number boards, top headlight. No MU hoses on the front there. Didn't see any in the box either, so... I guess there just isn't any on this. But, uh, you know, the panel detailing is pretty good. 
the livery is very, very crisp. It's very well applied. The lettering, the lightning bolt, the UP shield. There are warning labels just here. Um, obviously too small to be legible, but they are there. Yeah, on the whole, pretty impressed. I don't think it's as detailed as some others. But it can definitely hold its own for sure. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm not sad that I picked uh, an Atlas Loco. I think it's really, really good. You know, everything's there, everything's in place. A little bit sad that there's no MU hoses or anything available, but yeah, it is what it is. Yeah, that's really good. Really good. Okay, um, what I'll do now, I'll take it over the layout. We'll um, have another sort of look at it on the rails, uh, listen to some of the sounds, and uh, just see what we think. I'll catch you in a minute. Okay, so welcome to the layout. Um, I'll catch you in a couple of minutes. Turned out to be just over 48 hours later. So um, here we are with a quick little sound check and a small running session. So. As you can see, I got it there on the layout. Um, function one, we've got our lights. There's only the top headlights and the number board lights on this one. Uh, no ditch lights or nose lights or anything like that. And we have a bell. I haven't adjusted any of the volume CVs on this yet. Um, I think one or two of them need to be slightly louder, but I'll, uh, I'll address that again. Um, horn. Pretty standard. Um, a lot of the other sounds are dependent on the engine running. So what I'll do now, I'll just uh, fire up the prime mover. So in my opinion, it is a little bit quiet. I haven't checked the master volume CVs yet. That's something I need to do. But I will certainly. Um, Raise the sounds on this a little bit, I think. It's a little bit quiet for me. And obviously then we've got uh, various different sounds, like the compressors, um, fans. Uh, there is a function to dim the headlights. So if you'll see the number boards have gone dim there. And that's natural brightness. So what I'll do now, I'll uh, just give a couple of laps of the layout. And... Um, yeah, we'll see what we think.
okay, well that just about wraps up the running shots for this one. Um, on the whole, really pleased. Um, for my first Atlas Loco, I'm really happy with it. Uh, as I said initially, I think the detail is slightly behind some of the other manufacturers. I think the sounds are really good. I think I need to increase the volumes just a little bit. But um, yeah, everything's there, everything's present. And it, so far it's run flawlessly. Uh, I'm really happy. So yeah, I'm going to bring this video to a close now. Um, I hope some of you find it useful. Thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, stay safe, take care. I will catch you all very soon on the next one. Cheers, everyone.